going on everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in with me today and as you can tell i am on the kayak today so the backstory on this kayak is is my brother bought this kayak probably about a year ago so a big shout out to him this is who i got it from i got this kayak for 500 dollars. now this is a native mariner 2015 and if you see the the drive that i got right here is actually completely rebuilt to a 2021 so a big shout out to my brother i love that man with all my heart and i'm gonna go ahead and give him a shout out his instagram is gonna be right there but uh the main the main idea of this video today is just gonna be trying to catch a big fish during the summer now i know you guys probably see me fish this pond this lake whatever it is you guys see me fish this all the time and you may be getting tired of it but just like any other fisherman if i know there's a 10 plus pounder in here why wouldn't i come back and try to catch that 10 plus on on footage so um, I hope you guys enjoy the video today. I wanted to say, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because um, I see all the analytics on my videos and almost 95% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get into this fishing and hopefully we can get on them. All right, so for the first rig, I'm honestly just gonna break out a drop shot rig. I'm going to put on a green pumpkin magic trick worm or a finesse worm and the reason why is because I just want to find a bite. Now it's super hot right now. It is one o'clock and uh, these fish might not be fired up at the moment but if we can get these fish fired up I think we can catch a big one and a drop shot is, is definitely gonna find these fish over any rig during the summer. All right 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and the knot that I tie to splice the lines together is an FG knot. Now, if you guys want more information on that, uh, just leave it in the comments. Super light drag. I think the first thing we want to do is kind of fish around some timber. Just see what's going on. See where the fish are sitting. I'm not promising that I'm going to catch, you know, boatloads of fish today. But if they're out here and they're hungry and they're fired up, I think we can uh, definitely catch a big fish. And that's going to be our main goal. My main goal is catch one over six, seven pounds today. That would be ideal. Right on the front of that timber. Might be a super good spot to do it. And it, they may not even be over here. Like I said, we just really gotta find a bite. It's gonna be the hardest, hardest thing to do today. Just find a bite. Got several different setups to where if one thing's not working, I move to the next. No questions asked. There we go. Oh man. Hooked one. Hooked one off the timber here. So there's fish right here. They're just not hitting it instantly. That one was super tiny, so. You know, with a drop shot, that's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Why did that fish get off? That was a big one. Why are they getting off? Drag set good. That was a better fish too. cast with this drop and then we'll uh, switch over to a Texas rig all right we're about to break out the Texas rig ideally I was looking for uh, for something to tie off my line on the bottom so I don't have to hook it Try throwing this Texas rig with a big worm for a second. See, with a Texas rig, I can actually get it down into that timber right on the edge of it. And it really increases the chance of me catching a big one out of the timber. I have faith that 
at some point today these fish are going to fire up and we'll have a good chance to catch some big fish at least that's the theory behind it you gotta stay positive and it's not even deep right here at all probably about five foot Texas rig. Off the Texas rig. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get in here. Get in here. Off the Texas rig, baby. First fish in the boat. Super good one. A little three number. If that's not a good fish, then I don't know what is. Off the big worm. Let's go. Hooked him good. He was never getting off. This is a nice one. Let's just put her on scale, see how these, see how girthy these fish are. All right, let's see here. Whoa, hey bud. 2.14, 2.15. First fish, right around three pounds. We'll take that. Every single day of the week we will. Thank you. Right there is where I thought I seen the bubbles. Let me just go ahead and tell you, you see bubbles in the summer in a small lake like this, where there's shed, better go ahead and just go ahead, go ahead and bite the bullet and cast on it. All right, we got some shad blowing up right here. These are just the small things I look for when it, it seems to be dead. These are the very small things that I look for for me to find some bites. So I'm gonna cast it right where these shad are. Just see if there's a fish on them. Here's this little school of shad right here. There gotta be a fish somewhere since they are a little deeper. I'd like to think there's gotta be a fish. At least one or two of them eating these shad. Where are you guys at? I'm a hundred percent confident <clears throat> that I'll find a bite within within an hour or two. Yep, right here, boys. Right here. Here's where they're at. This is where they're at. The bubbles, man. The bubbles. Just like I was telling you, if you ever see those bubbles in the summer, you best get a bait close to those bubbles. Oh my gosh. Look, I just now missed one. There's a hodgepodge of them. He took my worm off, I think. Yep. Dang, we gotta act fast on this because we don't know how long they're gonna be there. Crate bait, just because I wanna catch a bigger one. Work it nice and slow, give it good action. Yep. Right there. He's trying to jump. Oh. Gotta get you off, bud. There's still fish to be caught. Yep. That was a school of them right there. As simple as that. I don't know what way they were moving. It seemed like they were moving to the right. The bubbles were showing up from left to right. All right, so now we know where a lot of them are. They're right here. Throw it directly behind this where we've seen the fish. There's a school of shed, but doesn't seem to be like anything's feeding on those.
There's one right there off the drop shot. He's trying to jump. Ooh, hey, bud. Dude, we're gonna get you out, bud. We're gonna get you off. Took my worm off. Little dingleberry. Alright, let's see if they're still right there. Little school of them. another one he's better it's a better fish let him tire himself out here Hook set on that one. He shook my weight off. No way. No way. There we go. Let's go. You know what, we'll throw one, one cast for the crankbait right here. And then we'll move back to this cove and see if we can pull up any fish back there. I'm having a super good feeling. Back to the cove we go. Yo, boss. All right, right at the mouth of this cove. Man, there should be some fish back here. I'm willing to bet that this, this cove has probably seen the most shade today out of any cove. Right, we'll do one more cast. Weird hook set. Weird hook set, but right off the timber. He's gonna pull us into the timber. Uh, no, don't jump. We cannot hit our propeller. No, no, don't jump. There we go. There we go. There's a good one. 
he hit it before I even switched hands and oh, it's one of those things. Not a giant, but yes sir, let's go. Summer fishing. Good little good little yeah that's definitely a 3.2 let's see the girth on this one not as fat as the first one but longer for sure no 2.7 smaller than the first one We're gonna let Mama Bass go. All right, caught that last fish right off the front of this timber. And that one ate it before I could even click the bail lever, which is pretty crazy. Caught me by surprise for sure. At least we know they're in timber. A couple of them are. All right, pulling up hot on this next piece of timber here. This one may be holding the fish right here. Fish this deeper, deeper piece here. There's a fish on there. Oh my gosh. That was a big one. That was a big one, boys. No. No. That was the seven we're looking for, dude. I already know it, man. That fish was literally hung on a branch. Chances are if I would have had some braid like usual, could have pulled that fish. Obviously, there's there's a good amount of fish in timber, and it's the bigger ones. We just got eight. We just got eight. They're out there. They are out there, dude. We found a little school lum out there. It's always good when you feel them thumping on the fall. Always. Another. These are just small ones. They'd be better off just using a Ned rig on these. That's what we're about to tie on. Little Ned rig. Thank you, buddy. You're small. Woo! It's time a Ned rig. All right. We got the Ned rig tied on. We're just gonna put a simple and plain finesse worm on here as well. I think it'll do justice. Boom, simple and plain, just like that. You don't see that much. 
I hope we didn't run over the school album. I really don't. Look at those clouds, boys. Hopefully it doesn't start thunderstorming on us. Goodness. Let's see if he frayed it. No, he didn't. He just got off. So we found a patch of them, for sure. A little patch of fish out there. They're there. I don't think that's a big fish, but definitely not a small, small one. Ooh, ooh. Hey, yo. Hey, buddy. There we go. What a hook set. Off the net. That's what I was talking about. Took me about an hour and a half to find a, a little pod of them. But they're, I mean, they're right out here on this drop off. It's where they're at. There's one right there. That one's a better fish. Fight them easy. I was reeling it up too, that's a crazy thing. Oh, no. He's hooked pretty good, so I'm not, I'm not really scared that he's gonna get off here. Come here, bud. The net rig. Definitely saving more worms than you would using a drop shot. I'll tell you that. I would have already went through about four or five worms with a drop shot. I mean, we're on them. We're on them with a net rig. He choked that one. 